Maximus Analysis here for 7 p.m. Uh, late video on, on November 24th. We could see that they've held this mid-level. Uh, they got down to the area I discussed yesterday around 2065, 2060 area, but then reversed around 11 o'clock. So uh, reversed and didn't close as high as I would want, but definitely is not in any way, shape, or form a bullish pattern, a bearish pattern. So again, you got a quick little sell signal close to the sell signal that they had last time, but um, again a break above these highs and they could continue and potentially break up and go into the new year um, we have the NQ same type of deal giving a nice little uh, pull back and uh, going from there you have the YM uh, pretty much the same thing and again if you guys in, I don't know if you're new to my videos but you can see this is the midpoint of the chop and they break above that they still have some stuff to get through but they could uh, if they have still have oomph, at least they'll get to this 18,000 area, but I don't know right here, right now. Again, they need to hold these lows, um, and then it could just continue higher. 200-day moving average is 1750. 200-day moving average is around 2060, and for <coughs> excuse me, NQ is around uh, 43, 40, uh, 4443. Uh, crude uh, gave up. I thought it was going to continue to upside. I actually took a long today on an intraday trade and tried to hold, being I was looking forward to give some type of bounce, but it didn't. So I took some profit, and I, again, it wasn't much because I was looking to the risk reward trading it here was was very good. So I got in around 2060, 20, excuse me, 42. 80 ish 85 ish and it rocketed all the way up to 4350 now I could have locked in profit but I was looking to swing trade this so we are still in some sort of a based on yesterday's uh, price action we are still looking at a very decent uh, hold so far of something that could potentially be bullish now um, if we delve a little bit deeper into the fibs we can see that you know they haven't even broken below the the quarter mark so as long as they can hold this area and again this is a significant area because of how choppy it is so let me show you on a six and this is what I was thinking might be for a temporary base but nothing crazy but you can see this they gave a false breakout here and now they're breaking out above this 40 273 area and 20 4275 was actually Friday's high so they're still holding it per se but tomorrow's the EIA report so make sure you don't get caught with that um, <clears throat> let's look at some some uh, high beta names and uh, we can look at fit fit is still in a, in a situation it's under I, uh, IPO um, lows and I'm not touching that to the long side until it just breaks above and gives me a good pattern or higher low or something I'm not going to try to catch this falling knife IBM still looking good nothing bad to see in regards to this price action still holding this low which is a significant low which is a hundred psychological level is too so they stay above that and they continue to grind higher <coughs> you have Amazon down about seven bucks but again it's, just, it's almost a seven hundred dollar stock so uh, that's nothing to be worried concerned about you have a tidy little small pullback uh, again it can hold this two hundred dollar level on uh, Baidu uh, IWM uh, it's it's coming up to the 50 percent mark and it actually coming up with a little bit of strength a little bit higher volume than yesterday so <coughs> excuse me so we'll see exactly how this one uh, pans out because again they they've been this has been one of the weaker if not the weakest index out of all of them all of them are regained their 50 percent retracements this one is the last to do so google continue to look good overbought but again it's been overbought for a while Priceline gave a huge reversal today because you could see I'll break it down to a 15 minute on how much it has it went down and came all the way way back up so break of this high around that 200 day moving average um, again I would look for a break of a high not just getting in uh, because it looks like a hammer because this doesn't mean anything because if it breaks this low especially overnight you don't know what the hell is going to happen so just be a little bit cautious <coughs> regarding uh, making sure it breaks a high versus just going in because you see a hammer pattern it, it has to give you something so uh, LinkedIn still giving higher lows lower highs just you know kind of one of these patterns here and uh, but overall trend is bullish so again we want to see 
how this pans out. Again, it's a very difficult island all over the place. Island mean just gap up, stay. Islands gap uh, up, stay. Island gap up and stay. So a little bit not the best looking chart. Uh, Tesla, again, I need to see a higher low. Not just this one, just, you know, I need to see something clear above here if I was looking to go along this name. But again, it still looks like in a bearish uh, bearish uh, situation, even though it um, is bearish, but it looks oversold. So I'm going to look and see if it gives me something that could pop up to sell into. Uh, I got some questions regarding uh, uh, Weight Watchers. <coughs> Weight Watchers, again... Um, it's just one of those parabolic stocks due to uh, this was the Oprah moment. And once it got Oprah to talk about it, it really, really ramped up in a major way. Um, I would just be looking at potentially just trying to get a pullback. And they have, and again, above this $15, $16 area, it's, it's still very bullish. It's above 20 it's still bullish. So you just want to tidy. Again, if you're taking the trade based on a short, I think it's just you're using this as type of res type resistance, uh, but again, this is because of an announcement. So this could be a continuation pattern and continue to the upside and maybe get up to the $35 level. So uh, be a little bit cautious with that. Remember that we have the markets are closed on Thursday, so it's a shortened week. So don't get too overly aggressive going into the holiday um, or holding over to the holiday. So again, we'll see what this pans out to be, but uh, take care and trade them well.